we're gonna teach you how to do your own paint night DIY. <laughs> so, yeah. We're gonna walk you through how to make an easel in the event that you don't have one. And we're also going to show you all the supplies that we got and that you could also use for your own DIY paint night. So DIY paint night might sound like a lot because you do have to pay a lot of money for these things, but doing it yourself, not that bad. First things first, you want to get some kind of fancy little paint tray or whatever you want. You could just use an egg carton or piece of paper, whatever, to hold your paints as you're going and making your wonderful artwork. We got these little palettes because we wanted to feel fancy like real artists, but you can use whatever you want. and. What good is a palette without actual paint? Depending on what image you're painting, you might need a bunch of different colors, you might need a couple, it's all up to you and what you decide you wanna make your masterpiece be. These we got from Michaels for about a buck 40 each, Americana paint brand. They're really good, it's acrylic paint, doesn't stain, it's awesome. Next, you can't really paint without your paint brushes. You want to try to get a bunch of different brushes. Like we have this one that's really long and flat and then this one that has a more precise tip. Some of them are really big, some of them are really small. It all depends on the kind of texture you want to put on your painting. For backgrounds, bigger paint brushes like this are pretty good, but for the finer details you probably want to go with a smaller brush. So make sure you have a bunch of different brushes so that you could get exactly the effect you're looking for. Next up, we've got a bunch of little painting tools just for more texture stuff if you don't want to use a brush and if you're trying to smear your paint on in some kind of different way you can get some pretty interesting effects with these tools. When you finish your painting what you want to do is put some varnish on it to seal your paint make sure it doesn't get messed up doesn't rub off on anything and so that your artwork is preserved for everyone to see. And last, a cardboard box, not only to store your stuff, but to mix some paints on in case you run out of room in your palette. Okay guys, so how to do your own DIY easel. And what you need is some packaging tape and a pair of scissors. And you all know what that looks like. A pair of scissors. So, uh, oh, and of course, your box. And since I ship so much, I have so many extra boxes. This one is 17 and a half by 12 by three. And you can get anything that's a little bit taller, depending on the size of your canvas, and ours actually fits this perfectly. Um, so what you do is you take one end of the flap, you bend it back, and uh, you measure from this edge here, however you tilt it, whatever angle you want it for the canvas. You measure two and a half, and you cut that flap to two and a half, and uh, then you t cut the top flap off. See, no more flap here. And what you do with that is you're gonna use it to hold the other side of your canvas, and I'll show you that in a second. So, taping it to the table. What you do is you take that flap at the bottom and you put two pieces of the tape and you stretch it so that's a tight fit and then stick it on the table. So you want a whole tight fit with the tape. And then I did the same for the back so it holds up in the back when you press it down on your canvas. And for extra support, you could tape the sides and tape it down to the table too. Just always make sure it's tight so that it stays in place. Now for the flap that you cut off, you fold one part of it not really a, a big part you need to fold. And you put it around the edge of the table like this, or something like that, depending on how big your table edge is. And you take the sides here, and you tape them down to the table, and then you take a piece of tape, however long to fit to stretch underneath your table, and you tape it to the underside of your table. And sometimes you gotta do extra tape for that for it to tightly stay. Sometimes it comes out, but that's, that's why it's the cheap easel. We've got tables, garbage bag on the floor, cause God forbid we get stuff on carpet, that would be really bad. Some 
cups of water so that we can rinse our brushes and then we're just about set to go. We've got our whole setup going. Okay guys, so that was that. That's our paint night. <laughs> we survived. It was messy. Trying to mix colors to get the ones we wanted was interesting. But we have things we could put on our fridges now. If they fit on the fridge. I think it's too big for the fridge. I mean fit on a metaphorical <laughs> fridge. <laughs> I think that was like 16 by by I don't know. It's pretty big. It's big. Canvases are big. Obviously you saw that. And <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Go out and do your own paint night. It's too costly to do it, you know, at these fancy places. I mean, 60, 40 bucks a pop. And by a pop, I mean a pop. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, pretty expensive. And we made an inexpensive paint night with Wendy's. Always Wendy's. So, um, we'll see you next time in another how-to video or another vlog.